All right, guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to kick butt in arena to destroy your enemies. Hiya! I'm going to kick them in the face. Why am I wearing shoes in the house? Don't worry about it. But yeah, this video is going to be about uh, arena and uh, how to get high in arena. You, this is going to help you like go up in arena, get up in rank. So essentially, uh, what I always did, I before I got Ultron, I was finishing really bad. I dropped as far as 250, even with Phoenix. Um, I unlocked Ultron, which uh, many of you have, many of you don't have. If you don't have Ultron, this team isn't going to work, but I would say tune in to watch so you can see what team to be working on to build. I think this team's going to be great for a long time. You get in there, I was at like 250, like I said, with Phoenix, at tier 12, three red star, and I was 250. I put in Ultron, I now, I finished at nine yesterday, and we're going to shoot for top five today. So... We'll see what's up, um, we'll see what happens, but you guys, this team is crazy and I wanna share it with everybody. If you've seen it before, well, nobody told me, so I'm telling you guys. So, I didn't create this, but nobody else shared it with me, I don't know anything else about it, and uh, so yeah, I'm not taking credit for it, but nobody showed it to me before, I put it together, it's working great for me, so I wanna share it. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly show you all of the characters here. Um, I have these all built up a lot, um, but so we got Magneto, uh, Tier 13, uh, orange mats. Uh, you don't need either of these uh, for this team. I mean, this helps Juggernaut, but I don't think you really need it either of these for the team. Um, but of course, I recommend this one no matter what. Then we have Vision. I'm working on tearing him up myself right now, but Tech Gear is a pain. Give me a give me a yeah yeet in the comments if you know what I mean about Tech Gear being a pain. Um, we have this one. You don't really need that one, um, but again, it makes it a little better. Um, but again, five red star, uh, just good. Uh, you need him for this ability. That's what the point of him in this team is. Of course, we got our boy Ultron here. So, you know, no red stars because he doesn't have them. But tier 13, uh, all of this is maxed out. If you have Ultron, that should be maxed out no matter what. Hands down, best character in the game. Got him. No T4s on him. I uh, got him to tier 13. After I discovered this team, I was like, well, I got to take this dude up. So he's crazy. Um, tons of health, tons of health. Uh, 139,000. So and his defense is off the charts. Uh, and armor is crazy. So... Um, yeah, you don't need him to be tier 13. Um, he just kind of gets in the way for a little bit. Um, but overall, um, I like him. I'm happy I did it, but I did it for the team. Um, this team was already working before I had him at tier 13. And then of course we have our girl, uh, Phoenix. Um, so I have these abilities. Um, this one helps. Um, this one, I don't really think does anything for this team, but, uh, this one helps a lot. Uh, tier 13, uh, three red stars, six yellow stars, six gold stars, whatever. And, um... Yeah, she's really good, obviously. Um, you just need her, really, for this ability to protect Ultron. And uh, when she becomes Dark Phoenix, she deals out tons and tons of damage. But typically, by that time, nine times out of ten, the battle's already won. But, of course, I mean, you want her to be strong. You're not going to put her in there at gear eight and win the fights against teams with, like, 12 and 13, tier 12 and 13. So, um, this is good. And um, we're going to hop in. And you guys can see how this team works. So, let's do it. Pretty much, I'm gonna give you guys some examples of how this works. So right now I'm at rank 26. I finished at nine yesterday. That's the first, that's the highest I've ever finished. And uh, this team has done it for me. So we're gonna hop in here and uh, we're just gonna do a few battles. And I'm trying to get top 10 again. We'll see what happens. I'd love to get higher, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to, but we'll see what happens. So as you saw from earlier, I mean, this is the team. You know this is the team because that's what the whole video is about. And uh, yeah, so 284,000 power, pretty good, pretty solid. So there, you have to play this team a very specific way. If you don't, it doesn't work. So could you maybe win matches without doing it this way? Maybe. All right, so the way you have to start this battle is you have to target Ultron and you have to disrupt him. Good, boom. This doesn't matter. Whatever they do, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. You do this, hides them, good to go. You ability block Ultron, 100% of the time. There you go, no problem. Look at that, summon, time to summon. Pretty much at that point, it's game over. Um, it's nicer when they have Magneto with some Brotherhood member because then he'll go before you summon uh, or before even Phoenix will put people under stealth and she'll take all of the blind. So this is kind of annoying, but it's really not the end of the world. So I'll go ahead and use this stuff, use this stuff. <clears throat> well, the healing guy died. And so it's not really great. That's actually very, very unideal the way that this is going but it's not a big deal. All right, so we'll do this. This will just blind everybody, um, which is nice. You can use that later. Like, that doesn't even have to be your opening move. 
All right, we'll go ahead and we can't use that because he is blinded. So it just kind of sets us back like a turn, really. Uh, not a big deal at all. Um, the cool thing about it is that with Ultron, he prioritizes his alt. And so for him, he like he'll use his alt and now he's still blind. So like we'll kill him here. We can just go ahead and kill him here. No big deal. And so now he's going to revive or whatever, and he's going to use his alt and pretty much, um, I thought we were going to lose there for a second. I'm going to be straight up with you, um, which would have been the first time I have literally ever lost with this team. Um, but now, so right now, I mean, we're in good shape. There's not a lot they can do. Um, and it's just, it's easy. So he's gone. Minerva got taken down. This is going to blast Magneto out of there. Goodbye. I mean, you see that 97,000 AOE. So we've got death proof and stuff. So not a big deal. That ability only is really scary when you don't have death proof. So see you later. That was by far, um, by far the squirreliest battle I've ever had with this team. And we still managed to come out on top. And that literally everything went wrong that fight. Looks like the uh, next team that we can go for is 16. Um, so we'll just go ahead and do that. This one's a little different. It's more of a X-Men variant and uh, we'll hop in here we'll get it done so i shared this team with mobile gamer uh, omg uh, yesterday he wanted to make a video i told him that would be totally fine of course i just shared the team with him it's you know i don't own it or anything of course a lot of people saying that they've been using this team that's cool guys um i just wanted to share it with you just because i wanted more people to get it because maybe a bunch of you guys know this team but not everybody does so i want you guys to know it um i saw a lot of comments there it's like oh well no he didn't discover that team it's like dude it's all good guys all good. We're on the same team here. I just want to share it so everybody be doing all right. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to have the best opportunity. That's the whole point. So just get in there again. As before, you got ability block him. Uh, go ahead and do the taunt. That puts it on Phoenix as well as him. He's pretty impenetrable, so it doesn't really matter if they attack him. Uh, mine does happen to be tier 13. Um, that's because I saw how good this team was, and I wanted them to be up. So everybody on this team is tier 13 except for Vision. And he is uh, tier 11, I think. I'm working on getting him up now. But, you know, tech gear. So, <laughs> let's see. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Get everybody over here. Yeah, that killed uh, Ultron as expected. Essentially, I mean, when Ultron goes down, it's pretty much it's game over. Um, Phoenix is amazing. Um, but Phoenix, on her own, cannot carry the team in the way that Ultron can. Ultron is by far the very best character in the game. Uh, hands down, second to none. And so you put him in here. I mean, he that's the whole thing about this. Like, you shut down their Ultron, their team falls apart. And you keep yours protected, you win. You know what I'm saying? So you blast him. Get out of here, Juggy. All right, we'll get him out of here in just another hit. All right, see you later. Get Phoenix. All right, cool. So there you go. Another team down that had more X-Men. Or at least that had Psylocke. It didn't have Colossus. No matter. Does not matter. Exactly the same result. So there we go. We're going to do another one after this. Like I said, we're aiming for top 10, so we'll see if we can get there. This, um, I'm happy that this happened. This is one of the roadblocks to this team is auto taunting Drax. This is a really hard one, and it is very possible that I lose this just because Drax, just, Drax messes it up because you can't disrupt. You're not able to disrupt Ultron first turn. So we'll give it a try. Um, we'll see. Um, I typically have bad luck against Drax. I think that is the counter to this team. So, I mean, we'll see, right? So it's hard because he's going to taunt. And what do you want to do here? You know what I mean? Like, it's hard because you don't want to use the disrupt to clear it. And I don't really know. The blind isn't going to matter because if you do the blind, then uh, it really doesn't matter. So we'll just do the basic, go the stealth, and um, we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Now, see, here's the hard part. Maybe if we get lucky and hit this Ultron with the ability block, yeah, we didn't. So we hit him instead. So this is ugly. So this is going exactly how they want it to go. Now, maybe because that's AI and I'm a player, we can still uh, knock this one out and win it. But this is going, like, once again, just very sideways. So first match went very sideways. Second match, uh, not so bad. And now here we are. This one's going a little not so good. So we'll go ahead and blast him. Um, we Regardless, we, just, we don't want to take out Phoenix, especially right now. Um, this is pretty tough. So I'm going to use this to... Hmm. I'm going to hit him because he has defense up, so I'd rather clear all of his stuff off. Um, we're just going to go ahead and use this just to get some blinds up. It's not ideal, but at least they won't be cleansed. You know what I mean? We'll see. Maybe it can work out. Again, this is not going uh, ideally at all. At all, at all, at all. But luckily, because everybody's blind, it's a lot better. We'll go ahead and do this. Maybe clear off some of those taunts. We didn't. All right, he's got more minions out. That's ugly, but we'll get our own minions out. 
Go ahead and keep uh, pounding through Thanos. Uh, this team would be a little scarier, I think, if they had if they had um, maybe Drax, and then instead of Thanos, if maybe they had um, a Minerva, because then you could just get through Thanos and then end up getting him revived. That would be crazy and frustrating. So we'll go ahead and blast Ultron here. Uh, we got him weak. Um, we're probably going to lose Juggernaut here. But not too bad. We got Ultron's first revive down. Um, again, that's we're kind of in good shape. That's going to be ugly, but I think we'll be okay. Um, but we'll see here in a second. But I think we should still be okay because, yeah, we're going to get him out of here. We'll go ahead and use this. All right, perfect. That's what I was hoping is that it would grab some of those minions. We got that. All right, there you go. Perfect. See, now that was a really, that was hard. That was the closest to losing I think I've ever been with this team. And we still, we made it out, right? So we're at spot 12. So let's see if we can't get another one in. All right, we're just going to go ahead and slide into spot nine, I guess, because uh, spot eight is already being fought. It was a weird team. I wanted to fight it, but they're probably going to move up. So that's kind of the problem. No big deal, really, right? So normal, getting blinded. Uh, go ahead and disrupt him. I think a lot of it has to do just with... Um, I mean, a lot of it just has to do with uh, who you like, what you do first turn. Because I know for me, like uh, when I first got Ultron, I would always disrupt the tank, and then Ultron would get stealthed, and then it would go off. And then I just realized one day, well, okay, so the tank doesn't get stealthed when he's initially disrupted. I should use that on Ultron because then he won't get stealth. I can ability block him. He won't summon minions, and then you know, here we are. So that essentially brings us to where we're at right now. And that's what kind of formulated this whole thing uh, for me. Again, you know, a lot of people saying that they've been doing this for a while. Nobody ever told me about it. So I'm here to tell you guys about it. Hopefully this helps somebody. I mean, again, that's the whole point of these videos. I just want to help you guys out. So hopefully this helps somebody out. If it does, uh, you know, you know to drill. Leave a like on the video. Comment. Let me know. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, there we go. Ultron's out of there. No problem. Magneto's out of there. No problem. Um, we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, Captain Marvel's about out of there as well, so this is a smooth sailing from here. All right, Juggernaut, blast him. All right, he's done. Go ahead and grab Captain Marvel. She's going to heal a lot, but really does not matter. Not a big deal at all. Whew, 59,000 from Magneto. It's a big one. All right, so now we'll just take her out. She's not going to, she shouldn't have a chance to use her ability if she does. I mean, we've got offense down, so no big deal. We'll blast her. Easy peasy. All right, my guys are doing a fun dance over there. Not sure what's going on, but... <laughs> All right, blaster, there we go. Easy, so that's moving right into spot nine. Um, it's simple, right? So that, that's easy. So these are not any scrub teams, right? So you can see they're not scrub teams. Um, that was a 300,000 power team. And so we move right into spot nine, no problem. Um, but I kind of want to fight this team. This team's a bit easier. Uh, Colossus is really the only thing that makes it hard just because when you hit him, he, uh, he damages you back, which really hurts the minions. Um, in this team, when they just have Colossus instead of Juggernaut, I mean... Juggernaut does the exact same thing that Colossus does, and it's really not a big deal. Um, and so you just, I mean, you just pound away at him and, you know, get all that stuff taken off where you can. I mean, it's really not a big deal, though. So pretty much, I mean, it's easy, right? So you can do it. Um, this team is usable by anybody. I, I really wouldn't recommend swapping anybody else around. Um, I have kind of found that this works best for me in this way. Um, that's going to be up to you if you want to swap them around. Um, I like this lineup the best. It seems to work the best. It's the most consistent. Ooh, I just got bumped all the way back to 12. Unlucky. Side note, if we could get the rubber banding fixed in Arena, that would be amazing because at spot 5, you cannot hit spot 12. So I actually have no idea. How did I just get bumped back um, to 12? Um, somebody let me know in the comments. I've never, I don't play this high in Arena typically um until recently so i have no idea how i just went from here to here because i should be able to then face spot five again right but i can't because the highest i can face is eight so i guess eight beat me but then 12 beat eight at their fighting at the same time i don't know so pretty weird um but let me know about that in the comments i would be curious to understand like a an official explanation if anybody knows so, about. guys so. as you know I'm just here. I want to help. I want to give people extra stuff that can help. I just want to help people. I just want to put stuff on my channel that can help other people. I don't always put out a ton of informational videos because I don't really like making videos that are just kind of like stuff you've already seen. Maybe we'll get around more of that. If you guys want me to make more videos, I will. Um, I stream every day. Um, you guys heard me talk about this a gazillion times, but I stream every day. Link is down in the description. It's so fun. Uh, you guys are really 100% missing out if you're not there. Um, definitely recommend it if you enjoy the videos. If you like me, uh, come through on the videos uh, or on the streams. You definitely 
you'd be having a blast. We're having so much fun. So we're uh, we're playing Marvel Strike Force every day. It's it's great. Um, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. I really love chatting with you guys and getting to know you on a more personal level. Um, and that's cool because it's like we're actually friends instead of you guys just watching my videos. You get to connect with me and we talk. And I think that that is the coolest aspect of live streaming is that I'm able to meet people that I know. So shout out to everybody who is already on the Twitch squad. Um, yeah, yeah, ye. you know. You know what that means if you're on a Twitch squad. Hey, hey. Uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, important links in the description below. Uh, Discord, Patreon, Twitch. Uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one, whenever that's going to be. I don't know. So we'll catch you in that one. All right, guys.